to check the, the tunnel up there and see how it is. Um, so normally, of course, we do this with multiple people, but today I'm alone, so I have uh, a way to climb up alone, safe and cheap. No expensive equipment at all, so I'm going to show you. Uh, it's actually using the Prusik climber's knot, which is meant to uh, climb a standing rope. So in this case, I'm going to use my uh, my, my, uh, my main cell Helios. This is a Dyneema line. And actually, normally when I do this, I take another line for security that I'll, uh, I'll rig to my, uh, my boatsman's chair. And I, uh, I ask somebody down at the deck to take in the slack and tie off the stick second line every few meters or so just just in case if something snaps that I still have another line but it's not really needed so today as I'm alone I will do it without so we will just fix this uh, halyard to a good point it doesn't really matter It's not very important where it's fixed. It's also not dangerous if it comes loose. Because I'll be hanging on this rope only. And I give it an extra cleat off just in case. So we're gonna now climb on this rope. And to do that we're gonna use Prusik knots, which is a uh, climber's knot. And I have three, three long ones and a short one. The short one is the one that will attach to my, uh, to my chest on the boatman chair. And the longer ones I use for my feet. I'm first gonna show you the Prusik. This is just a loop of line. It's strong enough to hold me. And I use a double fisherman knot or uh, to tie this in a loop. And to make the Prusik, you go around the line and take this through. And then, and then you do that three more times. Well, keep, well, two more times while being inside. Sure, it's neatly running outside to inside or up to down. It's quite a little bit of wind today, so how the knot should look. So you see the loops. Three is also okay. Three doesn't really matter. The nice thing about this loop is it's uh, when there's no tension on it you can slide it. But when there's tension on it it's very secure. You can put your weight on this it's no problem. And it helps if you have uh, if you have some shoes that are um, that have some grip. These shoes that I'm wearing have quite a bit of depth in the, in the profile, which helps to get a grip on the, on the line. So that's one foot. This is my other foot, do the same thing. The reason I don't want this knot in the middle is that there's, it's easier to put your foot on the, on the end that doesn't have the knot in it. One, two, three. The only thing that's really, it's a very easy knot to tie. The only thing that's important is that you really make sure 
these loops are um, nicely fitted on top of each other. It's easy to check as well. You see how it runs, right? It's very neat from all sides. Okay, the last one. This is a bit shorter, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. The reason I make this short is that that determines how high you can come. Right? Because you're hanging at the end, you're hanging basically on this slime. Just that's to your chest. So maybe just in case, put the most important line on the four, four loops. If this is too long, you don't get up high enough. So that's a bit of a problem. Okay, next thing, put on the boatman's chair. This is very standard. Right, let's go. Okay. Touch this here. See? I can just hang on this rope. Nothing. Both my feet are off the ground now. I'll put my two feet in the line and then I move these up. One. Sometimes you have to help it a bit too. And then I just stand on those two lines and I move my main line up. And then I can hang again. And that's it. It's very easy. It's safe. Worst thing that happened to me is that my foot slips out like this. Even if that happens while you're climbing, it's not a big problem because you're always hanging from this line. Of course you have to be sure your halyard is okay, there's no weak points in there. And this one is just new, so I'm just going to go through here. And there we go, I hold myself one hand, it's not even needed, but it's a bit more comfortable. I hang again, I sit. Use the side stays or the. Uh, so you see it slipped out again, not a problem. Got some. Uh, some spectators over there on the bridge. I have to admit, the first time I did it, it took me. 15, 20 minutes, but I've done it many times now and it's, I'm a lot quicker. Sometimes going down is even more difficult.
bit of side wind. Distance, you can see the square tower that's Nice place. 